Hello everybody, it's Rhiannon here and I finally received my Mystical Shaman Oracle Deck and Guidebook um, by Colette Baron reed This is her brand new deck and book. Um, I had pre-ordered it, um, I'm not sure, quite a while ago and it just got here today. So we're going to go ahead and unbox it for you guys. As you can see, opposed to her other decks, like this one and this one, this is a large set. So right away, that drew my attention. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. This is brand new, so not a lot of people have this. There's not... Oh, little corner bang there, but not too much. But so, <clears throat> I don't know how many reviews there are on this yet on YouTube. Probably not very many. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a little throat tickle. So let's see here. It looks like this is going to slide out. really tight. Sorry guys. I, mean, I don't want to ruin it. These stupid nails of mine. <clears throat> How's this Mercury retrograde been treating everybody? Hasn't been too bad for me. I do have constant kind of tickle in my throat. Gosh guys, I don't know. I might have to Cut this out. All right. So there's that. Here's the box. It's beautiful. Looks like a little X there. Magnetic closure. So right off the bat, this is a much higher quality um, box set <clears throat> then for instance like I said most of her other decks are just standard boxes like this so I'm impressed with that here we go before there was time before there was language there were the sacred symbols <clears throat> illustrated by Jenna Della Grada, Grada Algia, Grada Algia. <clears throat> Alberto Vildodo, Vildodo, Colette Baron Reed, and Marcelo Lobos. Mystical Shaman Oracle Guidebook. So here is the book, and here is the deck of cards. Super cute. Really, um, much more elaborate than her other decks. <clears throat> okay, so here's the guidebook. Here's the back of it. Beautiful illustrations. So this is going to be much easier to navigate this book. <clears throat> it says that the sacred symbols in this deck are shared by all peoples. They can be found in the ancient rock carvings of the Mongolian steppes and in the pictographs of the American Southwest. They are the centerpiece of African, Aboriginal, and Andean petroglyphs. They are the heart of the collective wisdom of humanity. The three of us have decided to Sorry, the three of us have dedicated our lives to studying ancient wisdom traditions and divination practices. These teachings have allowed us to heal ourselves and find love and compassion for others. They have helped us to understand the inner workings of destiny and how the future unfolds through each and every one of us. One day, while sharing a pot of fragrant jasmine tea at the Omega Institute in New York, <clears throat> we discovered that we shared a longing 
to bring the ancient shamanic art of divination into practical guide, into a practical guide, an oracle for the modern world. We wanted to create a sacred oracle that could help everyone use it to craft a rich and meaningful destiny in these times of great change. Because the deck is a blend of mystical and shamanic wisdom, we decided to call it Mystical Shaman Oracle to honor all of our spiritual ideas ideal ideas, and to be reminded that oneness is the true nature of all things. The stunning artwork by Jenna Della Gratila, Gratatagila, who reached into her heart to capture and bring forth the essence of the ancient symbols we selected. Through her art, the timeless symbols have been brought to life to speak to you. We hope you receive rich and meaningful messages from the mystical shaman oracle. It has been an honor <clears throat> and a privilege to be part of its birth. So there's the beautiful book. Let's just get in to the deck and look at some of these cards. Again, just a beautiful ribbon. Not same X. Oh, yeah. So these look like they are numbered. So starting with number one, the ancient ones. Just such gorgeous imagery. The grandmother. <clears throat> the crone. Beautiful. Okay. Um, I don't think I'll show you every card because I always like to leave <clears throat> some of it up to your um, excitement when you guys decide to get your own decks. So number two, the Andean Cross. Here's the back of the cards. It's like a compass. Just really, really beautiful. Um, just to let you know, there are 64 cards in this deck. <clears throat> and as far as I know, it doesn't really follow like a suit. Um, like the tarot cards. It is more of an oracle, but... I can tell already it's going to be much, much deeper than your um, some of her other decks where it really gives you the, um, you know, these aren't really guide words. OK, so I think it's going to take maybe a little bit more studying um, to be able to connect with what the messages of these cards are. That's just my first impression. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and just read what the meaning behind card number one is. The ancient ones. So you can see that it's set up with the essence of the card, the invitation, the medicine. So I'm assuming the medicine <clears throat> is more of like a action oriented thing, okay? So the essence is the ancient ones are the shamans of old who defeated death and escaped from the tyranny of time. The ancient ones walked the earth like us in flesh and bone. Now they reside in infinity and can counsel us after we say yes to our calling. They are available to help us attain our full realization. The invitation is the ancient ones are inviting you to reach to the future to help birth a new destiny for our earth. Go ahead. Find out who you are becoming 10,000 years from now. If you accept the invitation, great power and blessings will come your way and allow you to craft a new destiny for yourself. Do not hesitate to bite off more than you can chew because you have unlimited spiritual resources available now. The medicine. The ancient ones beseech you to examine your attitudes and actions and be sure that they are of the highest integrity. <clears throat> Not forgiving an ancestor or yourself is keeping you from the freedom you seek. Remember, this is no longer your karma. You can break the chains that once bound you to the family drama and be free of your generational curses. 
Forgive the ones that need to be released. Honor your biological your biological ancestors by lighting a candle t for them tonight. Wow, that just hit home for me big time. Um, I'm still currently working on <sighs> releasing a lot of um, family stuff. We'll just say so. That's pretty cool. So to me, the medicine kind of seemed like the way that you would read the card if it were upside down. But I don't know if that's what the intention is or not. But <clears throat> that's kind of how it resonated to me. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, there is just a kind of a very small section um, on how to ask a question, how to do a one card reading, three card reading. I was wondering if she was going to have any specific instructions on how to dedicate the cards, but I don't see that. Um, so yeah, there really isn't a lot of additional information. It really just kind of gets right into the cards. So <clears throat> yeah, like I said, I think that these are going to require, you know, more study than perhaps, um, for instance, the Enchanted Map. And let me just show you a, con a comparison for those of you who don't <clears throat> have any of her other decks, which I absolutely adore Colette Baron reeds decks. I think I own all of them. Um, so Stuck in the Mud, you know, these just kind of have little, you know, very concise keywords on there and although they do take some time to get to know um these just feel a lot lighter than the shaman deck already i can tell this just has such uh, much more deep maybe more shadow um energy involved which is a good thing right so i'm really excited to um dig into this deck and um, I am going to film a how to on what I do basically when I receive a new deck to dedicate and cleanse and just basically set my intention of the deck. But I'm going to do that in a separate video. I'm probably going to film it right after this um, and I probably will use this deck. So if you guys are interested in that, um, look for that. Um, it'll be a separate video. Also, I am now <clears throat> an official affiliate with HayHouse.com, so I will have the links for that in the description as well as for my Facebook um, and Instagram pages. You guys can follow me there. Please leave any comments if there are any specific um, things you'd want to know or cards you'd want to see in this deck. We'll probably get into that in our Oracle Obsessed Facebook group. If you'd like to be added to that, just search Oracle Obsessed. I'll also leak, leave a link to that in the description. It's a private group where we discuss and um, share all things Oracle, and we'd love to have you there. Um, so yeah, but before we go, I will just share a few more of the cards. I'm just going to kind of skip around. <clears throat> Here's number 18, the Earth Keeper. Wow, 19, fire, 20, flow, 21, the gatherer, that's beautiful. Um, I do have Shoshone Native American Indian bloodlines myself, so... I'm hoping that this deck will really help me connect with those ancestors. 22, the ghost dance. <clears throat> I'm going to skip forward a little bit more. Ooh, wow, this is beautiful. 31, the lower world. Wow. 32, luminous warrior. Wow, that is so beautiful. He reminds me of Ben Harper, who I love. Shout out. If you know and love Ben Harper. <clears throat> 33, Master Number, Magic. Let's see if 
ahead. It's 43. The rattle. 44. The sacrifice. Wow. Wow. I love this one. 45. The seer. It's gorgeous. 47. Smoky mirror. <clears throat> wow, this will be a powerful card. 49, Soul Retrieval, which is part of the great work of shamans, right? Is to help others with soul retrievals and to go back and collect those soul fragments. Um, so that's awesome. 50, the Spiral. 56, Thunder. 58, wow, this is gorgeous. Tree of Life. card which is number 64 the witness also just gorgeous you just see layers and layers of images they're just so multi um multi-dimensional just gorgeous deck i don't have any deck that i can compare the energy of this deck to so i'm really excited about it i'm a little nervous i'm a little nervous because i can really tell this deck's going to make me work for it but i'm up for the challenge so like I said, I'm going to spend some time just really clearing and dedicating this deck. So watch for that. Um, and we will talk to you guys soon. I have a large shipment of, um, I think, three more Oracle decks coming next week from HayHouse.com's um, big spring sale that they just had a couple weeks ago. So expect a couple more um, unboxings and I will talk to you guys soon.